Today, we're going to go over what imaging modalities that we perform during hip replacement surgery. Now, if you're one of my patients or you've read a little bit through our website, you'll know that I use something called the direct anterior approach. And that is the preferred method for me of how I approach the hip. And that is only the approach and that encompasses how I actually access the hip. And we do that without cutting or detaching any of the muscles or tendons. Now the imaging modalities that we do surrounding the hip replacement to me are of critical importance. It gives us confidence in where we place the implant, but also allows us to pre-plan where the hip replacement should be to ensure that we get the absolute perfect fit with your body and your anatomy. Now before the surgery, we would have gone through a few things together and we would have reviewed your pre-operative x-rays together. Now what we do from there is once we have booked the surgery, we organize a three-dimensional scan. Now the three-dimensional scan that we perform is to look at the full morphology or shape of your hip and the surrounding structures. It gives us all of the dimensions of the acetabulum, which is the socket, the femoral head, which is the ball, and the shape, the twist, and the changes in the anatomy of the proximal femur or the top of your hip bone. Now, ultimately what that means is that we do a lot of planning of the surgery before the actual surgery date. And it allows me to essentially perform the surgery on our computer many weeks before you actually come in for your surgery. It gives me the confidence to know that all of the anatomical aspects of the hip are known before we enter. And if we have any sort of abnormalities there, we have a definite plan on what we need to do to achieve a fantastic outcome. Now this three dimensional scan and the plan that I create is something that we then use to create a master plan for your hip, where in Switzerland, a special jig is made where we place that onto the hip during surgery so that it allows us to plan for everything very accurately and execute it exactly as we planned. Now, like anything, we never take anything for granted and we're always measuring multiple times before we do anything. Now, during surgery, we do several things to ensure that we're extremely accurate with the position and size of the implant and how we place everything so it relates perfectly to how that hip is going to move as every single person is built a little bit differently. When we go through the plans, we can see all of those differences and account for them at the time of surgery and be knowledgeable about them so that there are no surprises on the day. Now, when we're performing the surgery, we place the acetabulum or the socket first, and then after that, the femur. Once we've verified that the bony resections, which means the cuts on the bone, match exactly with our three-dimensional models, then we place all of the trial components inside the hip. Now, if you're one of my patients who have already been through surgery, you may have received something from me to show you what that looks like when we take that intraoperative image. I really prefer performing all of my operations with my patients supine, which means you're lying flat on your back comfortably during surgery. We use a very specialized bed during surgery, which is composed of carbon fiber, and that allows me to image your hip during surgery. I feel that this is an integral part to the quality assurance that we have for positioning the hip prosthesis as it allows us to see all of those elements that we may not be seeing during surgery just by looking at the bone and is a secondary check to how everything is positioned so that we can make sure that what we have placed compares perfectly to what we have planned. We do that imaging during the surgery so that we can make very small changes to the position of the implant with the final implantation of the device so that things like leg length and position of the implant are matched perfectly to our preoperative plan. Once that's performed, we also do tests on range of movement, stability, as well as how all your soft tissues feel with the new hip replacement in there. So there are multiple checks on how we place that hip replacement before we close up the wound. My aim is to ensure that once we have finished with the surgery, there is no need to go in and adjust any of the implants ever again. 
And that's really the aim of giving you a forgotten joint and one that will hopefully last an extremely long time. I hope this has given you a little bit of insights into the imaging modalities that we use for a hip replacement. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you through that or else contact our rooms for more information. In the meantime, please subscribe to our channel and I look forward to seeing you again for the next video.